Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about flay chest, also called stove in chest. What is the definition of flay chest? The flay chest is defined as fracture of three or more consecutive ribs at two or more points. So one, two, three ribs, more than one fracture here is fracture it is fracture like that okay yes. so that a segment of the chest wall is loose this part will be loosened like this part okay and the chest wall will have instability a flapping unfixed chest wall is developed usually mid ribs are affected the rib in the middle are affected the upper ribs actually protected by thick muscles we have also muscle here but this is there will be more muscles here and it is deeply situated this and the lower ribs so usually mid ribs are affected it may be associated with fracture of the sternum okay and it may be associated with injury to the to the muscular origin of the diaphragm because we know that diaphragm has multiple source of origin like from the gyphoid process posterior part also from the lower six rib interdigitating with the transversus abdominis muscle diaphragm also takes origin from the lumbar vertebra so rib fracture may be associated with the damage to the muscular origin of the diaphragm depending on the type of injury So if you go there, here, flail chest injury result in paradoxical movement of the flail segment. What is paradoxical movement? Paradoxical movement that inward movement of the flail part with inspiration and outward movement of that segment, segment with expiration. Okay. So during inspiration, ideally other part of the chest will go out, lung will be expanded, okay, and the chest wall will also expand it. But in case of flail chest, okay, other part of the chest wall go out, but this segment get in like that. In expiration, what happened? Enter chest wall should go down so it will be squeezed it will be decreased lung volume decreased chest wall wall diameter but the fractured part of the chest the frail part will come out that is called paradoxical movement full lung expansion is jeopardized it will be prevented because lung expansion also depends on the on the movement of the ribs if the a particular area of the rib of three or more ribs with two or more fracture will actually disturb the lung expansion okay that will be minimized and ventilation may be impaired okay ventilation depends on the movement of the chest wall and expansion and contraction of the lung muscles okay so ventilation may be impaired may be associated with pulmonary contusion that is possible because this sharp end of the rib may puncture or may damage the lung tissue it may damage the pulmonary pleura okay there may be pulmonary contusion so there may be open wound here and that may lead to pneumothorax that is the presence of air in the interpleural space. Our interpleural space has negative pressure. So if the chest wall is open due to the fractured rib, so there may be entry of air into the interpleural space. We call it pneumothorax. There may be collection of blood in the interpleural space. We call it hemothorax because these are the structure. So their vascular structure, if it is damaged, certainly it may damage 
here chest wall and this may also damage the lung there may be collection of blood in the interpleural space we call it hemothorax okay so what are the clinical features of failing failed chest or stobing chest okay clinical feature pain refracture is extremely painful only one refracture yes may be painful but it may not it will not cause flail chest or stobing chest but still any refracture is painful even only one refracture is very painful so in case of flail chest we have pain and tenderness deep sneer difficult in breathing tenderness of the affected chest wall okay crepitus because of entry of air inside the subcutaneous tissue okay there will be subcutaneous emphysema okay that will that may happen paradoxical movement of the chest wall just to discuss so we will have tenderness tenderness on the chest wall diagnostic test this is the gold standard chest x-ray both posterior anterior view and the oblique view pulse oximetry that is also very important okay ecg may be taken to rule out arrhythmia or any other heart problem okay associated with flail chest but these two are very important this may be also taken okay treatment Flail chest is a medical emergency. It should be treated by a licensed medical team, medical doctor, nurses in the emergency room and intensive care unit. Airway should be maintained, may need intubation. Continuous positive airway pressure may be required. Analgesia, it may be local anesthesia, it may be epidural anesthesia, may be intercostal nerve block maybe morphine or other strong analgesic may be used pulmonary toileting because there may be collection of blood inside the interpleural space and something collected it could, should be properly removed and cleaned okay tube thoracostomy may be essential because it may be associated with pneumothorax may be associated with the uh, hemothorax Surgical, surgical refraction stabilization by hooks or by, by where this is, this is practiced, this will decrease the chance of getting pneumonia. Okay. And that's all about the flail chest or stobing chest. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Please share the information with your friends. Please support my channel. Please subscribe me and have a nice day. Bye now.